But here we are um, at the Bayliston depot just now in Glasgow. I'm just waiting to um, move my van and then we go to the loading bay to load up our parcels and then off we go for deliveries driving about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, the quicker you get it done, the quicker you go home basically. Um, and that's the way we want to do it. However, due to the rain, driving conditions are going to be like a bit slower, of course, especially when you're in motorway. But once you are parked up in one certain postcode or one certain street, you get to deliver to multiple drop sites um, and you can kind of get a lot done that site as well. So I think today I've got about um, 60 to 70 drops to do. So I'll show you guys later on um, as I uh, unload my, my parcels and what they look like and, you know, um, how I get the system going, etc. So here we're in a queue to get into the loading bay. Lots and lots of vans. Some of them are hired. Uh, the majority of them are signed, all provided by Amazon. I'm told what bags I've got today. Six big bags of parcels and also two oversized parcels, which means they can't fit into those bags. Uh, just gives me an idea of what to expect when I'm pulling those trolleys out and uh, loading them up onto the, the van uh, and getting them all ready and sorting them out in order etc before um, you know they get delivered. When you are driving you need to stay, you need to stay really safe. Obviously Amazon doesn't want you to crash their vans and have all the scrapes and bumps and damages although it does happen sometimes but definitely for safe driving wise you are tracked on your phone during your work time, which means whatever street you're in, it knows exactly where you are, what speed you're going, are you cornering too fast, are you braking too harshly, and also are you using your phone while you're driving, and that's a big thing. Um, so there's an app that you have to install onto your phone, which keeps track of um, whether you are distracted during driving. So I plug my phone in uh, to get it charged anyway, so I don't touch it, which is good, but sometimes um, you do feel tempted to check your phone, check a message or whatever else, just don't do that. So I've got a 100% record so far uh, and it's been good because it's helped me to improve my own driving behaviour uh, and that is always a good thing. I'm uh, three weeks into this work just now, um, self-employed basis. I pick and choose the days that I want to work, so at the moment it's, it's like three days a week, Mondays, Tuesdays and Fridays, so I get my other two days, three days to do PT stuff, family time etc. So it's quite flexible basically, uh, like this morning we're here at 10.20 um, and basically I'm getting paid for sitting here making these videos for you guys um, and then I just walk all the way through and uh, once I finish I just call up the depot and say listen I'm done, uh, I may have got like say five parcels that I couldn't deliver, tried twice already and is and then my manager will say, listen, uh, pass it over to, um, you know, to Ross or whatever, and he'll take it off you, he'll do the late time, uh, the third attempt, the late one, and then off you go, then after that, I come back, drop the van off, go home. So, pretty flexible, pretty uh, enjoyable, even though the weather can be pretty crap in Glasgow. So, throughout my working time, I keep myself hydrated, so I'm drinking, like, water, I've got some, uh, fizzy water for a bit of um, sparkle um, I just try to keep it like low calorie stuff um, yesterday I brought a sandwich which I made from the house um, which was really high protein dry as anything but you know what really good listen so I'm going to talk to the warden here because no, you can tell me which lane to go to hold on I'm going to get my finger soon tonight right? she didn't look too happy I'm going to lane 2 and once I stop um, I have to wait for the vans behind me to stop before I open up the van and start loading. I'll be looking for a trolley C21. Mm. Alright, so that's me loaded the vans as you can see. I'm now going to change my shoes because I'm not going to drive off yet. The, the roads in front of me are not moving, so plenty of time to make another video to show you guys. But anyway, put my trainers back on again, take away my safety shoes because you have to wear steel toe caps inside here um, because of like the heavy delivery stuff in case anything drops in your feet, etc. Just to like, protect your feet. Because remember, you don't get paid enough to lose a toe and things like that, you know what I mean? These ones I bought from Amazon. 40 quid, um, steel toe caps. First stop over to Cathcart Road, south side of Glasgow.
then Battlefield and a few other places around that area. Bye! Sometimes um, the customers are not home because they're working. So you've tried already. Uh, you try to get in, no at the door. You can't leave it at the doorstep unless they say so. So it goes back into the van and you have to try again later. So once you've done your main run, you go and do your second attempt. And that's what you call them. So I'm going to put them back into the, the van in the bag. Uh, so they're clicked together and it's easier to group them that way. Okay, so it's 12.48 right now and I've done my first bag already, that's it complete. So I'm on to my second bag, which we're going to empty out and sort out the exact same way the first one was done um, in the street order and then street number is it. Here we go then. Sorting them out into McClellan Drive, McClellan Street sorry, the Bolton Drive. And then alphabetical order, so it's a lot easier for me to um, pick them when I need them, uh, Bolton Drive. So what I put behind me are the Amazon counter. Again, these are the ones I leave for uh, the corner shops. So when you order your parcel and you have you say you want to pick it up at the corner shop, this is what we do. We're just gonna pack it and leave it there, and then just, we scan it to let you know that you've got it, and then you go and pick it up, and that's how it works. So right now they're all sorted out into this kind of order: McClellan, Cavcart Road. Um, Florida Drive and lots for a Bolton Drive and then this lot is for uh, the lockers Easy one, this is a uh, zero 01 and zero 02 Nice 1.45 p.m. just now and I'm on to my third bag, 9081. Let's open it. I finished at 6.20 this evening. Uh, I had four parcels that needed to be re-attempted again. That means I've tried twice already and the people went at home. So I passed it on to the sweeper. And his name is Ross, so he took it off me and he's going to re-attempt between now and 9pm. So he basically takes all the parcels from everybody who's tried um, two attempts already and give it one more shot um, before he calls it at night. Um, so yeah, so that's it basically. So I started at 10.20 um, this morning and I finished at 6.20. There's a solid eight hours of work. have done 16,200 steps. Not bad. Um, the only thing annoying today was basically the weather. Um, of course, like the rain was on and off. It just makes the visibility a lot poorer, especially looking for house numbers in the dark, in the rain. Right, so here we are then. We are returning the bags. Remember the parcel bags? We had quite a lot of them. and I'll, We had six of them and then I've taken a lot from Ross as well. So at this point, I'm going to just drop them off to find a wee cage here that is empty-ish and then just put it in there. I'm going to return my uh, parcels that I could not deliver. Uh, the ones that were rejected actually um, by the counter. So the shop said that they did not want to take any more parcels for the day. So um, here's my badge. I'm going to um, re scan this and then tell the guys uh, like kind of the reason for returns. Um, then I return the van and that's me done. So here's kind of what happens. Um, you just return it, you scan your badge. The guy takes it back and they get reassigned for the next time um, they get allocated again, if that makes sense. So they go out for delivery again perhaps, or returned, or if they're damaged, whatever the reason is, 